All right. Well, good afternoon. Well, actually, good evening, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today I'm going to be um, doing lecture two on zoology one, and I'm going to be teaching you. Um, let me see here. Egg laying mammals, marsupials, and uh, elephant shrews today. So <clears throat> now the egg laying mammals are also known as uh, mono uh, extri, and the Greek word uh, for that is single hole. And so now, I don't believe in evolution, so don't, don't, you know, anyway. Now, they do have toothless, um, they're, they're, they're toothless. Uh, there's some that, uh, like the, the echidnas like to eat ants, um, and the platypus like to, uh, eat, you know, uh, crawfish, some, something like that. Now, these uh, egg-laying mammals doesn't have a nipple. They usually, when they're feed their young, they have to excrete uh, milk from their skin so that they can get the nutrients, which is kind of interesting. Now, there are two main family uh, families. Uh, is the the platypus and the echidnas, or you can call it the the uh, spiny ant eater. Uh, and I do have this as a reference. Uh, won't show all of them, but uh, let's see. Let's see here. Here's the uh, the echidnas right here. These two. And we got the the platypus, the long nose, spiny anteater, or the echidna, and the short nose. So um, these are still active today. They're still alive. And um, the long nose echidna lives in New uh, New Guinea. While the uh, the short nosed spiny anteater uh, lives in Australia, Tasmania, and southeast of New Guinea. And the platypus is in eastern Australia, Tasmania, around those areas. Okay, the, these are the, uh, the egg laying mammals. Now, let me get into. Um, the marsupials. Now, marsupials are pretty simple. Is that the young are carried in their pouches when the baby are coming out? Uh, they they usually a size uh, either some some are uh, the size of a uh, a peanut or some are a little bit more bigger, and they crawl onto the mother pouch and when they uh, reach the nipple, they just simply, <clears throat> sorry, simply attach to the nipple until it's when they're fully grown. Um, now, most marsupials are found in Australia, and uh, there's 100 species that lives in North and South America. Uh, there's a lot of families, such as the opossum family, which has 70 species. Um, some of them live in South and North America. Some lives in Australia. Uh, but this family, uh, for example, the, the Virginia opossum is very common in North America. We see them a lot. Even through Rogue Hills, you, you will see them probably, you know, fifty percent of the time. You will come across a dead possum, dead on the road. So, 
Uh, usually they live in southeastern Canada through you through the United States and through Central America, more specifically in uh, Nic Nicaragua. And these possums, uh, Virginia possum, can grow up to uh, 12, 3 fourths to 19, 3 fourths inches or 32.5 through 50 centimeters. Um, yeah. Now, there's another creature called the water opossum. And this creature lives in the, uh, you know, Mexico, south through Central and South America, all the way to Argentina. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you some pictures. And uh, these is a Virginia possum, you can see. And this one is the water opossum in South America. Now, the next family is called the, the rat opossum family. And there's only seven known species of rat opossums. One of them is, uh, like I said, rat opossums uh, generally look like. Uh, this right here. This right here. Almost looked at the rat, but actually it's a possum. Okay. And uh, this you can find these in Colombia and Venezuela. They, they go at least three and a half to five inches. Okay. Uh, next we have the, if I can pronounce it, um, uh, Daisy, uh, Daisy Yud Mosubios, uh, which are, there's like 49 species of it. Uh, a good example of this is the pygmy, uh, plain gale. Uh, but you can find this on uh, North and Northeastern Australia. Um, Tasmanian Devils are the part of this family. Uh, lives in Tasmania. If you know how ferocious it is. So uh, there's, there's other kinds too. Let me show you the pictures. Tasmanian Devil here. You know, there's a whole, a whole, whole lot that goes on. Next family is the uh, numbat family, which is only one species of it, uh, which you can find this in southwestern Australia. Now we got the marsupial mole family. And this is only one species. You can find this in southwestern Australia. And they only grow up to three and a half to seven inches, which is not bad. Now we got the koala family, again, one species. And then we got a wombat family, which there are three different species of it. Uh, the one over here. And then lastly, for not least, a honey possum, only one flame, one family. Here we go. So. Next, we got the the ban banquet family, which are at least seventeen species of it. Uh, we got the brown banquet. Um, we got the rabbit banquet fam. Uh, sorry, the rabbit man canoe family. Can't pronounce that, but okay. It's only like one species of it. Uh, the next family is called the uh Bellular family. Uh, which are like bush tail possums. 
Pygmy Bush. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Pygmy Possum family, which are seven species of it. Like the Pygmy uh, gliders, sugar gliders, greater gliders. So, here's what I'm talking about here. Oh. Yep. Now we got the kangaroo family, which are which have fifty-seven species of kangaroos, such as muskrat kangaroo, the uh, let's see the red, no, hold on. the ringtail rock wallaby. Uh, red kangaroos, which is the largest marsupial in the the old uh, with, with all the marsupials in general. Uh, the New Guinea forest wallaby, swamp wallaby. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me double check here my notes. Um, yeah, so Mosibules is, uh, very, very special. Uh, let's move on to the, uh, the elephant shrews. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, okay. Okay, elephant shrews has... 16 species of African elephant shrews. Uh, these are very, very feisty individuals. Uh, they are insectivores, which means they eat insects, such as uh, spiders, earthworms, and other kinds like that. There, well, there's 16 to 19 different species. Uh, but here they only give you one. But there's other kinds of spe other species, such as the dusk elephant shrew, the eastern rock elephant shrew, four-footed elephant shrew, North African elephant shrew, and the K no. Yeah, cave elephant shrews. So there's like that, that's, that's some of the species of this. Now these elephant shrews are pretty pretty interesting because their litter is just uh, one or two well developed young is born during the raining during the rainy season, which is kind of interesting. The young can walk and jump almost as soon as they are born and able to suck for only a few days. Okay. Now they eat, you know, seeds, fruit, and berries too. Basically, that's part of the diet as well. Uh, I wish you hop and jump from twigs to branches. On their powerful hind legs, uh, using their long tail as con counterbalance, which wow, is pretty pretty awesome. And uh, they dig burrows into uh, termite mounds, which is kind of interesting fact. Um, yeah, I think I think that's all that I got for today. Um, but as for the uh, marsupials part, pretty interesting. Uh, been fascinated by these creatures, um, uh, as I studied them. Uh, so let me read you one fact. Let's see. You know, you want, you want. So, 
yeah, I think I think that's all I got for today, folks. I uh, trying to see if I can write more notes next time. But these are the uh, the ones that I'm doing right now. So uh, lecture three, uh, I'm going to be teaching about okay lecture three. Uh, sorry, lecture three. I'm going to be talking about tenets, uh, Arvark, Dung Dong, and Mantis and elephants. So, be prepared. And I may add some things to it, but who knows? Who willing. So, again, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time.